What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be discussing a topic that is a little bit sour. It's a little bit sour, it's a little bit bittersweet and, and all those different things, man. If you guys were unaware, or as you guys know I should say, back a couple months ago, or I guess it was about a month ago now, if it was, let me go check the exact time and date that it was. I think yesterday was a complete month since the WCW crowdfunding project, the WCW Nitro Ultimate Edition stage was completely scrapped or that we did not make it. The deadline was about a month ago yesterday on May 6th is when I posted about it on Instagram, so I guess that is what we'll go by there. But as we all know, we covered it here on the channel, and this will probably be the last video that I make on the subject or just something that I wanted to discuss with you guys and kind of get where you guys' heads are at and everything like that. However, like I stated, a month ago is when the Nitro stage was a failure. I think it was about 3,900 backers that we got in total. We needed 5,000 to make it come to fruition. I think the total cost of the Nitro stage and the Rey Mysterio and Scott Steiner figures that it would have been would have been $430 for the Rey Mysterio, the Scott Steiner, and the Ultimate Edition stage when you include taxes, when you include shipping. So I think the listed price was $399.99 or it was $400 right at the dot. I can't exactly remember, but I, but I do believe that was the case. And then once you included shipping and taxes, it came out to about $430 or so, depending on where you lived. You know, UK collectors and international collectors, I know it was much higher than that. I'm just going by based off the United States, but as as we all know, the international collector had to pay more than that. So, if you guys were unaware, I say all that to say, if you guys were unaware, the last couple days, Hasbro Pulse listed their next crowdfunding project for their G.I. Joe Classified lines. It's a G.I. Joe Classified series. If you guys have been to Walmart or Target, you've probably seen this. I've actually collected a couple figures in this, just because I like some of the cool accessories and things that come with these G.I. Joe figures. They're very sick figures, man. I've actually had a couple of those in my collection. I posted them around. They're very high quality. I think Hasbro does a really good job on the G.I. Joe Line, but they did their next crowdfunding project. They did a live stream. I think it was like two days ago or three days ago, maybe. I can't exactly remember, but they took to Instagram. They went live on YouTube, I do believe, as well, and they listed their next crowdfunding project, and I know you're probably like, what the hell is this? Is it like, Why are we talking about G.I. Joe? Just give me a second, Brad. Just give me a second. They came out and they showed this attack helicopter. Now, I don't know much about G.I. Joe. I know a little bit of ins and outs. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not a connoisseur of G.I. Joe like I am other licenses and other things that I talk about here on my channel. However, I can appreciate action figures. I'm an action figure guy. I've t I tell you guys this all the time. It doesn't really matter what it is. Like, it, of course it does matter. It, it, it does matter what it is. However, I can appreciate a damn good action figure or a damn good crowdfunding project. They showed off this attack helicopter, the G.I. Joe Assault Copter Dragonfly XH-1, the first of its kind in six-inch scale. This massive two-seat assault helicopter represents the pinnacle of G.I. Joe's anti-armor technology, blah 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 It's a ba It's an attack helicopter. It's a crowdfunding project attack helicopter that they listed up for $275 that ended up being just over $300. I think it was like $302, $300 to $305 when you included taxes and shipping when it all said and done. Thing's massive. It's absolutely beautiful and brilliant. I'm not a G.I. Joe fan, like I said. However, I watched the whole live stream just because I was intrigued with it being just how cool it was. I thought it was a badass copter and all these things. So it went live, I think, two days ago or something like that. And within, I think it was like... It was right at the 24-hour mark. It was either right at 24 hours or it was just under 24 hours. A full day, a whole day, just one day, they, they listed one figure and an assault chopper with all these guns and, like, different fire effects and stuff that can attach to the chopper. The chopper has a damn, like, little descending rope thing that you can hook things to to drop off things or a guy can come down off the copter. Very beautiful-looking copter, right? This copter, in, like, less than 24 hours or right at 24 hours, they managed, they needed 10,000 backers to bring it to fruition, right? They needed 10,000 people. They needed 10,000 people to get this thing off the ground. Pun intended. That was pretty good, actually. Off the ground. Helicopter. You get it. 24 hours in, they got 10,245 backers of the 10,000 needed to get this thing going to, like, make it, like, to cement it in action figure history to bring it to fruition. And they still had 41 days... 41 and a half days left. They still had six total weeks to fund this project and bring it to fruition. And in 24 hours, they got 10,000 plus people to back the project. Absolutely insane W by Hasbro, by the G.I. Joe fan base and the people that enjoy these figures. That is just, I just, I took to Instagram and talked about it just a little bit. I put it on my story. It's just like, how crazy is it that we, the Mattel and WWE and wrestling action figure fans, have had 
about a month or how how long was it was it three or four weeks it was like three or four weeks we had to to back our project now the projects are not the same they're not created equally right i mean you're looking at a hundred hundred and twenty dollar difference in price and i would lo love to know like i guess we'll never know now what the comparison is between the size of the chopper compared to the stage well i guess we know the dimensions right we know the dimensions i think the the nitro stage was what hold up i want to make sure my measurements are right here holy shish i just read where somebody backed five of these helicopters i'm sorry i'm just reading the comments here regardless i think it was two and a half feet i want to say the the helicopter's two and a half feet long i want to say the stage was it was bigger than my coffee table and i can't remember what my coffee table was maybe i can plug in some images to know exactly how big it is but the stage was obviously more intricate it was much more intricate it had had a lot more going on with it than this right here but i just think it's wild that the gi joe fan base comes out in waves like that and it is like an army builder crowdfunder it is an army builder crowd like people are gonna back multiple because they you know you want multiple helicopters in your display and stuff like that but copter is beautiful right and you get a wild built figure with it with a lot of cool accessories on them removable things like that he's got pistols i mean it's a really sweet deal right here for 300 bucks what you get i just thought it was insanity and like what would it take what does it take for the wrestling figure fan base like obviously i would imagine that the gi joe figure community is probably collectively per like on average it's going to be older than the wrestling action figure fan base i would guess you know that's just a that's just a guess that i would say collectively the gi joe classified fan base is probably older on average than the wrestling figure fan base but in terms of size how much bigger how much bigger is the fan base for gi joe classified compared to the wrestling action figure fan base i would like to know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below also i'm sure that there's people that watch this channel that are fans of both properties you're probably fans of both you probably collect both i know that exists so i wanted to use this video as kind of a gauge to know a what do you think it would take for the wrestling action figure community to come together to back a project like that it would have to be like obviously the numbers that this thing is doing tells me that it is an absolute slam dunk i mean they crushed within 24 hours they crushed the goal and made it come to fruition and they have six weeks left so that's like amazing to me i think that's amazing that they are able to just everybody's just on board like bam the only like real flaws i heard was like yeah the price could come down some and then i heard that you know hasbro shouldn't be it shouldn't crowdfund these things but this isn't the days of like toys r us and stuff like that anymore where you can just put anything at a retail shelf i just don't see a, a 300 dollars helicopter is not selling on retail shelves i don't think you know i just I, I don't know i don't think that walmart and target are gonna sign on to that and that's really your biggest hurdle I think that they face. I think customers would probably come out and buy it. I think it's more of getting the retail store to approve it. And I, I'm just making a wild guess there as well. But I wanted to get on here and talk about this because I just thought it was so amazing. I, I, I like was taken back by it and it was like, damn, really wish, I really wish that we could get a project that would just fly out the door like that and get you know so much love from our community as a whole because i feel like the nitro stage there was a lot of people backing it you know that wanted it i was definitely on board with it but i would like to see an overwhelming majority of people be on board with our next crowdfunder whatever that may be and i want to know where you guys where what do you think it has to be in order to to perform like this this helicopter performed i feel like it's a little tougher in the wrestling space because a lot of people said that they didn't want a stage in general you know nobody really wants a ring nobody wants a stage i I, for one, I want stages. I think the stages are really badass. I got to see, you know, this Nitro stage in person. It was just an immaculate piece, and I think things like that are really over the top and awesome, but you guys know that I'm absolutely insane when it comes to action figures and stuff like that, so I may be in the minority there where I'm just a really niche of a niche that is just crazy about his action figure collection that, you know, I, I'll get the whole damn arena, you know? I'll get the whole, like, it doesn't matter how big it is, but your average consumer probably doesn't have the same mindset as me, and I'm I can acknowledge that, you know? But I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say that a Ruthless Aggression stage, like a fist stage, wouldn't have sold like this. I've heard that a fist stage would sell like this. So, all in all, I wanted to know where your guys' heads are at. But I thought it was completely amazing how everybody came out in droves. I don't even know what it's sitting at right now. But I think they need like 13000 for another figure, 16000 for another figure. And I think at 19000 they get another figure in there. So, at the end of the day, say this thing gets 20,000 backers, which is a crazy amount of people. That's a crazy number of people, bro. That 
that that's insane that's almost double what we needed to get the ultimate warrior ultimate edition or the the hulk hogan at the later date ultimate edition figures in our project they need twenty thousand backers to get four total figures right four total figures and a helicopter with all the accessories for 300 bucks i don't know I, I, you know, I think that's a pretty solid deal from where I stand, but I thought the 400 bucks for five ultimates and that massive ass stage, I thought that was a pretty good goal as well, but I would have, I would have paid 400 just for the stage alone, but that's just me, but I know everybody's not there with it, that's just where I am mentally. I know not everybody is in that same ballpark, but I want to know down below what you think, what project do you think it would take to get everybody to back it like that, to just be a, just a crazy menace to society backing that thing like the... G.I. Joe Classified fans did in the last 48 hours or so, whatever the hell the number is, but Helicopter looks great. I've actually thought about backing one as well, just because I think it's so bad, A. I just think it's beautiful. I, I don't know exactly what I'd do with it, you know, but uh, I've thought about it. I, I thought, you know, you could just you buy it just for the freaking, here comes the the pain spot or whatever will throw guys out of attack helicopters i don't know man might be on board with that we'll have to see but yeah i just wanted to know where you guys are heads are at and wanted to talk about you know just how crazy i thought that was and just how amazing it was that they were able to back it so quick like and how that relates to the wrestling action figure community and how we can maybe what it would take to get us to be on fire for a project like that or whatever the case is man i'd love to know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below but yeah just wanted to talk about it nonetheless man huge shout out to our patron backers over on the Patreon. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron backer of the MDT YouTube channel, click the link in the description below and check it out. Follow us over on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at MyDamnToys. All the same at keeping it straight across the board there. Really appreciate that. Leave a like on the video. Let me your thoughts down below. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. See you guys next time. Have a blessed one and leave you your thoughts.